Palm oil grown in Sumatra is exported to the West and used widely in cosmetics and food products. It is often labelled as vegetable oil or sodium laurel sulphate in soap. But thousands of miles away, a deadly price is being paid for the cultivation of this cheap ingredient. Spanning 2.2 million hectares, the Loisa ecosystem is regarded as the most biodiverse forest in Southeast Asia. And it is the only place in the world where tigers, rhinos, orangutans and elephants live in the wild. We travel to the heart of this unique ecosystem that is supposed to be protected under Indonesian law. Just one week earlier, this was pristine forest. The area has been illegally logged and palm oil has been planted in its place. By night, timber trucks controlled by armed gangs roll out of the freshly planted palm oil concessions. The body of an elephant lies rotting on the forest floor. In recent years, deforestation has forced elephants from their natural habitat into close proximity with humans. The elephant, killed by rat poison, is the latest victim of a growing conflict between Sumatra's people and its critically endangered elephants. Konflik ini membawa apa, uh, juga resiko bagi uh, tidak hanya bagi masyarakat tapi bagi gajah sendiri yang terlibat dalam konflik. Ada banyak gajah yang dibunuh, diracun, karena konflik dan juga. Driven by frustration at having their crops trampled, this community chained up a baby elephant found trapped in a farmer's field. Away from its mother and without expert care, the calf stood little chance of survival and died days later. Masyarakat bengih ke waktu saat ya ya pancu kebun karena kebunan konstituen wadun kagak pereh bahkan mencapai belasan tahun di waktu saat tinggal nunggu panen saya agaknya ke ancu gejak ke pulau lelom mereka arah-arah panen nanti ke ancu lelom Conflicts between people and elephants have become increasingly common destroying livelihoods and claiming lives Apalagi yang konflik di Gempang itu pernah korban satu masyarakat ke desa kene yang diinjak sama gajah. Itu gara-gara mengusir dia tu. Menghalau dia karena udah diganggu-ganggu padi, dia injak. For years, government policy dictated that elephants straying from the forest into agricultural plantations should be incarcerated in government-run camps. Forcibly taken from their herd, these elephants now face a lifetime of captivity. Despite the best efforts of government employees at the camps, the issue of what to do with these so-called problem elephants remains largely unsolved. In recent years, conservationists have retrained some elephants to be used in forest patrols. These patrols are an attempt to reduce conflicts by driving wild herds back into the forests. Setidaknya kita bisa uh, mencegah ataupun memperlambat uh, tindakan-tindakan masyarakat yang ke yang yang mengarah ke punahan satwa itu sendiri. The conservation is stressed that unless the clear felling of elephant habitat stops, such schemes stand little chance of helping wild elephants survive in the long term.
Wide-scale deforestation is killing people as well as wildlife. In 2006, a series of floods wreaked havoc in villages across the Loisa area, killing dozens. Experts believe extensive logging in the surrounding hills caused the floods. Pengalaman di 2006, masyarakat Aceh Tamiang pada trauma karena banjir bandang yang begitu darsatnya. Itu daerah ini belum dibuka. Daerah ini merupakan masih jadi hutan. Nah hari ini, ini sudah dibuka. Sangat-sangat kami khawatirkan. Well, the Sumatran elephant right now is in very, very bad shape. It's on the verge of extinction actually, and the best hope to conserve the Sumatran elephant is actually to conserve the ones in Aceh because that's where the biggest populations are. So in order to conserve the, the, the elephants, we've got to conserve those lowland rainforests, which means conserving Losa. Armed with information from the air, conservationists and local communities are fighting back against the palm plantations. Working alongside local rangers, Graham Usher has been flying a drone to map areas of deforestation. Collection of evidence provides us with a much stronger case when you go to decision makers and say, look, this is what's going on, these are your laws, why isn't action being taken? These villagers are cutting down illegally planted palm oil trees in an attempt to turn the land back into forest. However, the governor of Aceh could soon approve a plan which will open up vast new areas of forest for exploitation, deepening the struggle between communities and elephants. Until the impacts of palm oil consumption are properly addressed, the days of the Sumatran elephants and the rich forest they depend on are numbered. Kalau kita tetap memakai, tetap menggunakan setiap produk yang diolah dari kelapa sawit, itu berarti kita mendukung kehancuran hutan yang ada di Indonesia, khususnya di Aceh sendiri, di tempat kita berada saat ini. So we are talking about a death blow to that population, which is just so important that the world's eyes are on right now. It's their final stronghold. If that goes, say goodbye. If we don't take urgent action, a few years down the road, we will be looking at the Alerza ecosystem and saying, my God, why didn't we do more when we had the chance? <laughs>